currently top of the Uganda Premier League and through to the quarterfinals of the Uganda Cup, Chitara Football Club have indeed been a force to be reckoned with this season. The Royals are on the summit of the Uganda Premier League with 39 points in 19 fixtures. Kitara were relegated in their first Uganda Premier League attempt after finishing bottom on the table with 13 points from 27 games. Club president Dewo Kasozi and experienced player Paul Muchwerezi explain what went wrong and how different things are this time round. The major reason as to why the other time we failed to uh, uh, put a mark in the first division league was majorly because of COVID. I can't blame it on that. And then, of course, we had to reorganize and that's why this time we have come stronger and now we are looking at sustaining uh, this strength. The experience of the players that have come in, uh, given the fact that we even had Kadu previously in the big league, you know, we come in, other players come in, so at least you see there has been some motivation. Even the fans out there want to come and see who Paul is, who Zaga is, who, you know, all those players, who Brian Ahewa is, so at least that addition has uh, made uh, Chitara be somewhere it is at the moment. The Kitara football fans are another major reason to Kitara's rise as they flock in large numbers to be the 12th man, be it home or away games. Club president Deo Kasozi believes the transparent accountability his administration gives to the fans after every match has also contributed to the team's progress. I think the average, the average collection is... Uh, because we made 250 million the other time in 15 games, so in the big league you need to look at something like 10 million. But the certain times Ghana Premier League, the, the, the money has increased a bit, so we are looking at 15 million as an average collection per game. That idea uh, is just an innovation, I think. I didn't get it anywhere. But I looked at Europe. Europe, most of the people of the clubs mention even the money they are buying players even how much they are paying players, even how much they are going to spend. And you see that transparency brings people on board. Kitara Football Club is a community-founded entity that was established in 2010. The team has since registered a number of contributions to the development of the community in Bunyoro. Of course it has helped the community in very various fields. One, all the border border cyclists gain because when funds move, they have to use them and pay them and the old bars, the hotels and all people who, who, who sell small merchandise, they gain from the club. Of course we used to have a lot of uh, crimes but because of, of the love of the game, because of the team, because we use the team at the same time to also mobilize people for other activities, to make sure people respond. Uh, we fight uh, crime. The team has also benefited from the community as well. Right now, we are just developing this team. And the, actually, indeed, it is the team to benefit from us, not we to benefit from the team. But meanwhile, the president has put some shares to, uh, to the fan base because his target is to, to see that the, the team belongs to the, to the community. Getting to the top may be an easy task, but maintaining the status is another thing with examples of Oduparaka and Arua Hill. However, Kitara Football Club management has a solution for this. What we are doing now is sustainability of the club. You have been seeing on social media that we want to get subscriptions in form of ownership of this club for various categories of members. We have estimated to raise 1 billion shillings, but I have also told you if we raise only 30% of that, will be 30 million, rather 300 million shillings, 30 percent. So it will add on the merit money that we already have. Head coach Brian Senyondo says he will not be diverted by quick success the team has registered but he will stick to the team's ambitions that were set at the beginning of the season. This, at the beginning of this uh, season we, our target was to be among the best five positions. So far since the season started we've been we've maintained that and we want to maintain that hopefully we keep pushing in the league and finish among the best five teams. That is our target and we cannot deprive away from that. Kitara will return to action on Friday as they visit Maroons Football Club at the Luzira Prisons grounds in the Uganda Premier League with hopes of continuing with their winning ways. Noah Walakira, NTV Sport.